It is an unmistakable landmark on the Tyneside skyline and home to 4,000 people. The biker wall's design was controversial at first and the reality and reputation of life on the estate have not always been positive. We're up on the sixth floor with Tommy. Here we are. He's been here since the 1980s and lived in three different flats. This one has a two-level layout common in the wall and he's seen the place change. We had a drug problem, the drug break and heroin. And um, that, I wouldn't say it devastated the estate, but there was a lot of burglaries and a lot of petty crime. But the thing is that I, deep down you knew it was a good estate and you knew that, that the vast majority of the people on the estate were really good people. And that's proved to be a point over the last 25 years, 30 years. In 2012, ownership of the Biker Wall estate was transferred over from the council to a new tenants' trust. It spent more than £30 million since on a regeneration scheme with new roofs, doors, paintwork and security systems. And last year, the estate was named as the best neighbourhood in the UK at the Academy of Urbanism Awards. In essence, we're a housing association, yeah, we're the landlord, but we have a key focus here on people and communities and working in partnership with a bottom-up approach to make sure the service we provide meets the needs of the customers who we serve. And it was our customers who came up with this strap line, our biker, our community, our tenants, and it is very much our. A small number of residents now own their homes thanks to the right to buy, but 90% here are still social tenants. The biker wall is 1.3 miles long, it's made up of 650 homes, but actually the majority of this estate, around 1,300 properties, is low-rise houses and flats. Sheltered by the wall too are churches, pubs and schools. We were invited to St Lawrence Primary's Summer Fair. Their pupils speak dozens of different languages. In this summer, yes, I don't know. Not in a bad taste of piano. Go and draw a place to know a biker. My name is Albert. And my relatives are from Poland. I love this school. My name is Sophie. And my parents are from Brazil. And I like to live in Baika. A quarter of the estate's residents are from ethnic minorities. The Nwang Kargu family are from Nigeria. They've been in the UK for a decade and moved to Biker last year. The children here and our own children play together as a member of one family. For the period we lived here, there is no problem. There's nothing like uh, fighting or anything. It's, there's a good relationship, very, very good. Next month's garden competition will surely inspire some neighbourly rivalry, but so too real pride in where they live. Similar large-scale estates have faced demolition over the last few years, but the biker wall is listed, its future secured, as a formidable example of ambition in social housing. Tom Sheldrick, ITV News, in Newcastle.